Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. My name is Arjan and today I will uh, be trying out a fairly interesting fountain pen, the Delike fountain pen. But before getting into the fountain pen, since it looks like this video will be released around the holidays, uh, 24 December, I am uh, recording this on November 22, 2022. Uh, I just wanted to wish you all happy holidays and nothing but the best to every single one of you. If uh, you are seeing this on uh, the December 24th or 25th, I thank you for making me part of your holiday and again, wish you nothing but the best. Now, regarding this D-like fountain pen, I do not have an actual model number for it. Usually it is referred to as the aluminium version and to add to the confusion even more it seems that this fountain pen sometimes it is listed as delike sometimes i even seen it listed as moon man or even uh, more junk and other times without a without a brand name attached to it i did notice however that when the pen uh, has a brand attached to it it tends to come with a d like number five meme Adding to the confusion, there is no E after the D. And uh, when there is no brand attached to it, you get a generic MIP and a lower price. Not by much, around $2, $3 cheaper. And if you don't like the black version, there is not a red version, as you can see from the screen. I got my copy from AliExpress for around 11 Canadian dollars and an additional 7 Canadian dollars for shipping. Usually you can find uh, both versions, branded and unbranded, for around 20 Canadian dollars mark. I got the non-branded version that came with uh, a generic nib that I didn't really like as much. It was more of a medium size and I replaced it with my own spare the like name that I had. Going through the fountain pen, uh, it is fairly small. I would call it a pocket size pen. It's length capped, it's even smaller than a Pilot Elite. By the way, weight and sizes are in the description if you need to see them. And uh, as you can see from the screen, the pen is fairly straightforward, as in literally it's pretty much straight. Uh, the cap tapers a little bit with a step down, and then he has a dumb and no actual finials. And on the other side of the barrel, you it will end with uh, threads and a smaller dumb at the end of it. Cap and barrel, they have this uh, knurling uh, effect or uh, pattern on it that helps with gripping the pen, but not by much, to be honest. When it comes to the cap, the cap is fairly simple, and like other fountain pens that I have reviewed, this uh, cap doesn't pretty much have anything, doesn't have a clip, doesn't have anything engraved except the gnarly pattern that it has on it. Removing the cap is fairly simple. I am able to remove the cap in one go, but it's just as the, at the limit of me being able to do that, so most probably it's somewhere around two and a half turns and the threads are actually smooth but as you can probably hear that there is some uh, some noise and once you remove it you will be greeted by a fairly short section and uh, this is the delike neem that I uh, put in place the one that it came with it was just a um, single color basically stainless steel uh, nib and uh, I thought that this nib will uh, look much better on this pen. Basically a complete blackout D-like fountain pen. The nib is a number 5 nib and it comes with a generic number 5 uh, feed that usually works pretty great, never had any issues with it. And that is an actual nib unit that you can remove. Personally, I already removed this nib unit and I apply some silicone grease. The idea is I'm trying to avoid the ink to get inside or between the nib unit and the section. This way, hopefully I'm prolonging the, the life of that aluminum since aluminum can uh, 
corrode when in contact with uh, certain inks that, that tend to be a little bit more corrosive. Going back to the cap, uh, as you can see from the endoscope video feed, uh, it's fairly simple inside, uh, nothing out of the ordinary, very smooth, and there, is, there are no um, plastic uh, inner liners. Uncapped, the fountain pen is maybe on the small size. For me, I would say it's actually quite small. Uh, I could probably make it work for quick notes uh, since I usually use it as an extension of my uh, finger. However, this is not something that will be comfortable for a longer periods of time. And uh, uncapped, it is actually pretty good, well balanced right in the middle of the pen. However, the good thing about this pen is that it posts fairly secure, as in very secure, and uh, you don't have to twist uh, the cap to, to for too long, so it, uh, the posting is fairly quick, and the balance of the pen uh, changes a little bit higher, but still in the middle of the pen considering the, the, the cap at the end. And this makes it for a much more usable length and I'm very grateful for that because I can definitely use this pen uh, fairly easy without much of an issue. The good thing about this fountain pen, even though the section is fairly small, the transition between the section and the barrel is uh, fairly smooth. You do feel a little bit of stress but not in a negative way. If anything, it kind of helps with the grip on the pen. Like I mentioned, the pen does have uh, this pattern on it, but somehow it's still quite smooth to the touch. It helps, but it feels still a little bit, uh, a little bit slippery. Removing the barrel, it's uh, fairly, fairly easy. The threads are very smooth. It takes a little bit uh, to, to remove it, but there's no issues with it. The threads are very smooth. And once you remove it, you'll be, well, greeted by a very tiny uh, converter, which I actually like and I'm happy it is included. And the converter comes with uh, an agitator inside there. However, I noticed that this converter, I mean, uh, the ball inside takes a little bit of a space. So what I like to do with this type of converters, it's actually remove that little ball and this way the piston can go all the way down and you gain a drop or two. By the way, be careful on how you operate this converter. If you pull too hard, you'll actually remove it from there. So just be gentle. And the barrel inside, as you can see from the endoscope video, is just as smooth as the cap. Uh, no features inside of it, which is kind of good. And also this tells me that most probably this was built from one or machine from one piece of uh, aluminum. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. And this is the fountain pen in a nutshell. Uh, nothing much else to add. Um, fairly simple, sleek, clean design, no nonsense fountain pen I would call it. So let me go through filling it up and do a writing test and then we'll jump into a sketch. For today's drawing, I wanted to go back to this uh, Cole Barges Van Gogh uh, carbon ink that I bought from AliExpress. As usual, cap off, barrel off, piston slide down. Again, I, remember, I remind you to make sure you slide it slowly up. Slide the piston halfway up, go back down, and then go all the way up gently. The piston works fairly well, gets a pretty good feel. I'm happy I removed that uh, ball. Looks like I gained a little bit of ink in there. The section seems to be cleaning up uh, very nice. Um, I do have a black ink on a black pen, so if there is any ink, I do not see it. And as a reminder, make sure you clean the ink in front of that section as well. And doing a small writing sample for those that care. Again, keep in mind, since I got the unbranded version, uh, I uh, 
did replace the nib with something else. The original nib was nothing wrong with it, was actually pretty smooth and was working fairly well, it's just the line was a little bit too wide for my liking. Looks like I have a little bit of ink on the nib. All right. So this is D like aluminium. fondant pen. So the other thing about the pen, it feels very light uh, and since I have also a pretty odd position here with the mic in front of me, it feels like I don't know how to write with this pen. However, this nib works very well with this pen. I really like it. And reverse seems to be actually pretty nice. A little bit uh, grabby, but definitely finer. This will be fun. It will actually work very well with the drawing. <laughs> I like the nib, I like the pen feels very light. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like it due to the drawing, but I guess we'll see about that. And as usual, there's no real line variation in the in this nib, since this is an extra fine and fairly rigid. I do like it. This should be interesting. So um, let me jump into the uh, drawing and uh, I'll let you know what I think of this font pen. I did not expect it to end up with the drawing that I have today. Um, not sure what it is or how it came out, but it's definitely different from uh, what I usually do. A steampunk sort of a plant, uh, the home of a nifty creature lurking around. Not sure what it means, not sure how good it is, but that's okay because I had lots of fun doing it uh, and uh, might have sparked a few other ideas for the future. I was afraid that the fountain pen might be slippery a little bit, but uh, as it turned out, once I was focused on what I was doing rather than uh, what I was holding, and how I was holding it, everything kind of clicked into place and uh, I had no issues with the pen. It felt a lot like a pencil and um, I did not have to refill the converter. Tiny but mighty I guess. The extra fine nib on it seems uh, to be a good match and makes the pen uh, pretty frugal. Well, in all fairness, I did not use as much ink as I did in my last two drawings. Uh, I don't think you would have fared very well uh, if I would have drawn a similar sketch. What do I like about the D-like uh, fountain pen? I do like the fact that it's all metal construction and as such it makes it for a very good carry around and uh, toss it a little bit uh, fountain pen. It can take a few hits so having it in your uh, backpack or purse without having it in a specific pocket won't hurt it as much but I don't think uh, it's a great idea because in the end it's still a fountain pen and uh, any knocks and sudden moves will end up uh, with your pen throwing up in your cap. Other things that I like about the pen, it comes with a converter, granted, it's smaller capacity and a cartridge will hold more ink, but I don't mind if I have to fill it up more often if uh, needed. I also like the design that it has, it's very clean, and I like the nice curling uh, part pattern that uh, it has. And I do like the price point that it comes at. I think it's a good bang for buck for, for what you get. 
The original nib that came with the pen was working just fine, but I think this black uh, finer, the like nib suits it even better. Not to mention is matching the pen uh, pretty good. What I don't like uh, as much about this D-like Phantom Pen, there are a few things that I don't like as much on this pen. And the first thing that pops in my head is the fact that there is no plastic inner liner on the cap. Aluminium can be affected by some inks, so if by any chance you get spills or splatters in your cap and not clean them as soon as possible, there is a chance that eventually your cap will be corroded by the ink. Not something to be scared of, but definitely something to be aware of, especially if you tend to use inks uh, that are more corrosive in uh, nature. Another thing that I find a little odd, the black on the cap doesn't match the black on the body and section. It's like they were built in two different factories. The cap is a little bit shinier compared with the rest of the fan. Really odd, but not truly really a deal breaker. What you might not like about this pen, I think that maybe the missing clip, or if you really need and use clips, definitely not a pen you would like. Personally, I like uh, the clean design of a fountain pen without a clip, but then again, that's my own preference. And other things that I could think of uh, is that maybe for some people it might be a tad light, a little small, especially if you don't like uh, posting the pens, and it takes a little bit to uncap, so not best suited for quick notes. In the end, personally I like the pen. It's fun, small, cute, and while not best suited for quick notes, it's definitely a pen you can carry around without much of an issue. I can definitely stand behind this little thing. And this is where my rambling uh, are coming to an end. If I have missed anything or you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I will try and get to it as soon as I can. With that said, I thank you for joining me today and I hope I will catch you next time. Wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Happy holidays to all of you and may all your wishes come true. Take care. Bye.